Today we're going to go through what it takes to actually wire your tablet in Jakar. And that goes for both uh, power and audio that comes in. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through a parts list of the things that you're going to need. So for me, because I removed my stock stereo and I didn't have an amp that was already powering my door speakers, I went out and got myself just a little amp here. So this is a little amp from Boss, it's 100, uh, 100 watts and I'm able to run my door speakers off of that. Now, if you're an audiophile and you want to be able to have you know, fine grain control over each channel, then get yourself a four channel amp and being able to do all that configuration. For me, a two channel amp was fine for being able to set my, my door speakers uh, for uh, right and left. So it has all my usual kind of presets, got my uh, audio in for being able to bring my RCA in from the tablet. I've got different uh, volume levels that are on there, filters. So just depending on um, what you're looking for, this for me was nice. It's a small unit that allows me to tuck it away without any issues. And I've got a link available on the blog for where you can find this little amp itself. So we've got our amp, we've got our tablet, of course, of where we're gonna run our audio and power to. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to pick up for your car specifically from Metra or whomever is you're gonna to wanna to get a wiring, a stereo wiring harness for your car. So this is the same factory um, uh, stereo replacement wiring harness that you would use for any kind of new Pioneer, Clarion, any kind of head unit that you're going to put into your car. So you wanna get the one specific for your vehicle because this allows you to unplug your stereo and plug your new wiring harness for your tablet directly into your car. So cool thing with these as well, on the uh, back or in a uh, sheet on the inside, they have all of the different color-coded um, wires of what goes where for you to be able to run to your car. So where your power is coming in, where it's expecting your speakers to go, uh, all of that uh, stuff is all pre-labeled on the package so it makes things easy. So that's your power adapter. The other thing that you're going to need um, to be able to run power to your actual tablet is your USB cable. So I recommend getting an on-the-go cable. I have links for that uh, on the blog as well. So an on-the-go cable is different than a standard charging cable, USB cable. So tablets typically use that port for charging, but they can also use it for accessories. So it's typically either for accessory or for powering. So you can't do both, usually on a tablet. What an on-the-go cable allows you to do is be able to charge your tablet, but still be able to use USB accessories off of it. So I would highly recommend one of those. Um, whether or not you need to use a 90 degree uh, connection in or out of the, the, the tablet, will depend on the amount of space that you have for your installation. So for uh, any of our kits, we've recommended either a 90 or a straight on on the go cable that allows you to be able to that connection. Next thing that you're gonna need is you're going to need a standard 3.5 uh, millimeter um, headphone jack to RCA. This is gonna run your sound from your tablet to your amplifier to be able to get that and running through your car. So you can pick these guys up uh, anywhere. And then it gets into more kind of tools. So my, my amp had uh, you know a speaker harness for being able to run speakers in and out. Some different amps just have posts to be able to run those in there. Um, and then you've got kind of your powering harness. Again, some different amps just have posts to run your, your positive and negative to. In the case of my little one, it's got a specific little um, plug that goes into it. And the key thing that you're going to want to do off of your power source is this is where you're going to run your USB power to charge and power your tablet. So the cool thing about the tablet, it has a battery so it can stay in sleep mode when your car is off. And then the power settings that I posted earlier allows it to come right back to light when it sees power coming off of the accessory source. So the main thing that you need to do for powering in USB into your car is you need to do a step down. So USB is expecting a five volt connection and your car is a 12 volt, so you need a step down. Now, what we did here is we actually wired in a little step down transistor to, to be able to do this. Now, there's a lot of easier ways to do that. I would recommend grabbing, um, essentially, uh, there's a few different ones out there. It's, uh, you, if you do a search for 
um, a USB charger on motorcycle, or uh, I've put some links to some other ones for, for vehicles as well on the blog. And what it does is it just wires directly into your 12 volt power supply and gives you a couple USB connections to be able to then run your source. So it's a lot simpler than this one. So I wanted to show this as an example, just as an explanation. What's inside those things is just this little step down. And then you've got your USB plug to be able to charge your device. So that's essentially what you need for, for your parts and wires. Uh, again, on the blog, I'll list everything. And even on our product pages, we list all the different things that you're going to need um, to be able to um, connect your device. Now, the other thing that you might need, and it's something that's optional, I needed in my car, was essentially a ground loop isolator for sound. So what it does is it will actually plug in between your tablet and your amplifier. So my car had a whole lot of ground, uh, ground loop noise and it was coming across my audio. What it does is it plugs in line with your audio into your tablet and then to the uh, amplifier and it cleans up any noise that might be coming across your, your car system uh, before it goes to the, the amplifier. I needed that in my car because it was really bad distortion that was coming across through that headphone jack. Um, so it's an optional thing that you might want to get for your car. You're not really going to know if you need it until you've plugged in your audio and tried it out. Um, so that is in general the, the parts that you need. And then you're going to want simple things, you know, maybe some um, uh, electrical tape. You'll need something for cutting wires, something for stripping wires. And this one's got a crimp tool on it as well. In this case, what we're going to show, you could solder all the wires. In this case, we're just going to use, you know, butt joint crimps. Uh, to connect everything together. It's just simple and easy and, and quick from the, the point of being able to show how to connect everything. So we'll get started and, and seeing how we get everything connected. So in the case of my wiring harness here, I've already gone ahead and uh, connected things on, on my cable. So for me, I really wanted to, again, I was running my uh, front and rear speakers the exact same. I didn't need four channels, just running two channels. So I paired together the plus uh, and, and minus uh, positive and negative terminals for each of those different speakers. You're going to have um, some wires that you're just not going to use because it might be accessory things that you're not going to use for your system. So I just kind of connected those up with some um, electrical tape on the end. And then you've got your power and ground is what you're gonna run into your wiring harness. All right, so we can go ahead and link in our cable. So we're gonna do our positive and negative terminals, terminals for the left and the right. So here we'll use our crimp tool and crimp that down to be able to connect the two. And we do the same thing for the other side. So that has our audio connected in now. I've got my right side positive and negative. I've got my left side positive and negative. So that all matches up to my handy little sheet that I've got here. So that's got all of my audio going. Now all I have is my positive and negative for the power for the system. So this is now going to run over to any of the wires that I've got going to my amplifier to turn it on and also powering my USB cable that's coming across here. So if we take our positives, we'll go link these together in here and then do our ground as well. And that has your harness ready to go. We've got our power going to our amplifier. We've got our audio going to our amplifier. So I'm able to now stick those in to my amplifier. So my speakers plug in. I've got my powering harness that plugs in that's got me good to go with the actual uh, amplifier. I've got my power here for my USB, so I can take my source that's now going to my tablet, plug it in. Plug that into my tablet. And then I'm gonna take my audio, it's gonna come out of the headphone jack and it is now going to run to my RCA cables. So that has everything all wired. So I've got my amplifier with power and audio, my tablet that's feeding that with the actual RCA jack. I've got my USB charging that's coming here. 
And then I've also got now got my plastic cable that's going to actually plug directly into my factory harness. And that will get your entire system powered and ready to go. The rest is really just putting it into the plastics, snapping it into your dashboard, and you now have a tablet powered into your dashboard. And so I highly recommend taking a look at our power settings that we talked about for the tablet as well, because it makes a really nice experience. I've been using it in my vehicle um, for over a year now, and the power settings work really well. One thing that I would recommend is where you're connecting your power into where it's charging. I typically try to put this someplace where I can actually pop it down underneath from another piece of trim. If I need to emergency charge my tablet, I can pop it out of there and put on a charge pack onto it and give it a nice charge, um, even if I haven't had my car on for a while. So that's really if I've had my car shut off for you know uh, a couple of weeks and my battery's all gone in my tablet, I can kind of charge it back up again quickly overnight, just plug in my, my charge pack and I don't have to worry about having the, the car turned on. So hopefully you found this video uh, informative uh, and will really show you exactly how to connect everything that you need into your, uh, your car, whether it be audio, power. It's really the same process of actually putting in an aftermarket stereo. Not a lot of difference. The main difference is really the USB power that's going to come into the system. So. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us for the video and we'll see you again next time.